I am Subhash Mukhopadhyay. I am based in Sydney. I work at Macquarie University. This is one of the five universities in the city of Sydney, Australia. I am originally from India. I have lived outside India for now 26 years. I am looking after the mechatronics program here at Macquarie University. And my research interest is sensors, smart sensors, wireless sensor network, internet of things for health and environmental applications. Last time, that was I think way back 2010-11, I visited electrical engineering department as a visiting professor. Electrical engineering department uh, professor B. Jagadish Kumar was my host. After that, I had multiple opportunities to visit electrical engineering department. One time it was the GIAN course, the initiative by the government of India, global initiative on academic networks. Me along with Professor Bobby George of electrical engineering department, we delivered a course on smart instrumentation. That was way back in 2016. Then I have been again to IIT Madras Electrical Engineering Department as a visiting professor in 2018 to 2019, almost four months. During that time, I have, along with Professor Bobby George, delivered a unit on instrumentation. Right now, we have a student of Electrical Engineering Department, Mr. Anil Kumar, who is doing PhD under Kotutel PhD program with IIT Madras and Macquarie University. I am involved as a co-supervisor for his PhD study. So I have got a lot of connections with IIT Madras and I look forward to get opportunities to visit IIT Madras Chennai. It's actually initiated by the government of India uh, to interact with the foreign academics to come to India and deliver a course along with the professors of Indian institution. So Professor Bobby George applied for this course, which is the topic is sensors and instrumentation with the title smart instrumentation. It was either to be two weeks or three weeks so for us, it was a two weeks extensive course. So the student, they attend four, four classes, which is almost one and a half hours each one. So almost six hours a day for continuously two weeks. In that, we also had the assessment, how the students perform in the course. So it was almost like a credit, which the PhD and the master student get. So for us, it was a very interesting opportunity to work together. And on that unit, on that course, Smart Instrumentation, we have developed some common topic of research as well as some teaching material. Later on, we have developed a edited book, Professor Bobby George, me and Professor Jagadish Kumar on the same topic. So this was very, very useful. And it was a very good initiative by the government of India. the research facilities of IIT Madras is really very good. So the facilities what IIT Madras, especially the electrical engineering department has got, is really a very high standard and state of the art. So it's very pleasure to have that facilities and work together. We have very good experience working together. We, Professor Bobby George and me, we have very close interaction, especially the opportunity of joint supervisions for Mr. Anil Kumar, who is a PhD candidate. So we work very closely and we interact very closely. In fact, we are also organizing a interna an international conference uh, in January 2022, which is called International Conference on Sensing Technology, which will be held in uh, IIT Madras uh, from January 17 to 20 in 2022. So we work very closely 
we also write joint papers and we also do kind of like a editing of special issue in international journal other than that we also do uh, research papers for example anil kumar writes paper so we give the feedback so that type of opportunity we have and during my teaching of the gian course we interacted very closely for teaching the sub, uh, program together international office is always there i always visit when i go to iit madras i always visit them and i find them very supportive so from that point of view international office does a very good job uh, but in general i don't uh, need their help because my host are really really good and uh, i do not have any complaint i do not need any help from the international office but they are that they are always to help i think it's it's like a two different types of place you will get once you go to iit madras inside iit madras and outside iit madras so it's like two different world iit madras is like the, the one of the best place i would like to be inside the campus with so much greenery and you are so close to the real world facilities wise i used to stay in the international house international guest house where you get all the foods so we do not have exactly any problem but of course uh, being uh, in the international guest house provides the vegetarian food sometimes we used to go to jaitung in fact i was there with my family and it was really pleasant stay uh, inside the iit madras campus but when we go outside it's a different world it's very busy that's the real india but iit madras campus is a very very nice place where you can think of it's like a everything you actually pray for and you actually dream for so the campus life is really good and uh, with the internal facilities of convenience like the free bus and uh, i i used to walk a lot inside the campus i used to go to the swimming pool so the life was really good and anyone who comes outside uh, within the iit madras campus uh, they usually very very much like it so we did not have any problem of any issues absolutely the the life for 3 3 months 3 plus months was really really very enjoyable one of the important thing is these days is that the international ranking of the institution or the university now in that aspect iit madras is not doing exceptionally well it's over 200 and the main reason for that is that international student and international staff so international student is of course not the policy of the iit madras but is the policy of the indian indian government but indian iit madras can also do something better there and inviting the foreign staff for a short term to a few years that type of opportunity they actually could go little more extensively and as i said that the joint work with the foreign universities uh, the staff can be encouraged to do more on that aspect so that they will have the more collaborations with the foreign universities and that will help more international travel of course these days international travel is really really restricted and covid-19 has to go but publications of joint papers and supervision of the students uh, those things can can be still possible so those aspects if iit madras the staff they could actually look into then i think this will help not only the up bring up uh, uh, developing or in improving the standard as well as the improving the ranking of the university uh, institution for future